New signals on how Alec Murdoch may be seeking an appeal. The disgraced attorney convicted of killing his wife and younger son reportedly appears to be focusing on the jury that delivered the guilty verdict. ABC's Jay O'Brien is back now with more on that. Jay, good morning. With Alec Murdoch's attorneys have already indicated they plan on appealing. What we don't know this morning is what argument they plan on making to try to convince a judge to let their client walk away from a life sentence. This morning, ABC News has learned the defense team for Alec Murdoch, the disgraced former South Carolina attorney, found guilty of murdering his wife and son, will hold a press conference this Tuesday about their plans to appeal that conviction. All right, Mr. Murdoch, I sentence you to the State Department of Corrections on each of the murder indictments. In March, Murdoch was convicted of shooting and killing his wife Maggie and youngest son Paul. They were shot multiple times. Murdoch is currently serving a life sentence. His lawyers already filed notice they planned to challenge his guilty verdict, but haven't yet laid out their legal argument. In an interview just this week, Murdoch attorney Jim Griffin saying as part of their appeal, his team interviewed jurors in the case looking for bias, saying there are serious questions as to whether this jury was subject to outside influences during the case. Appeals are extraordinarily difficult uh, to win. The question that I'm sure the counsel for Alex Murdoch uh, in this appeal is going to uh, argue is there's no way that this small town in South Carolina where this family had such a prominent name. Uh, there wasn't a person in the area that didn't know the Murdoch name. Similar claims about an allegedly tainted jury were made by Murdoch's eldest son, Buster, in a new Fox Nation docuseries, The Fall of the House of Murdoch. It's an absolutely excruciatingly difficult experience. Breaking his silence, Buster also saying he doesn't think his dad killed his mother and brother, but adding he believes his father has some psychopathic qualities. I'm not prepared to sit here and say that it encompasses him as a whole, but certainly I think there are characteristics where you look at the manipulation and the lies and the carrying out of that such, and I, I think that's a fair assessment. And this appeal is only expected to cover Murdoch's murder conviction. According to court records released about a week ago, Murdoch plans to plead guilty to different federal charges that he stole millions of dollars from his clients. Gio. All right, Jay O'Brien, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.